what is up what is good as you guys can see we are again inside the cockpit of the 350z and uh this time i'm actually pretty pretty excited uh, i think this is going to be the biggest change i'm gonna make to my interior um this time and uh i'm really excited i never done anything like this before so i'm kind of scared i don't want to break any tabs or anything but i mean we can we can't let fear hold us back right so we're gonna give it a shot and see how it goes i was trying to figure out how to paint this the sun visors black and this part or oh, everything black just because i don't want it to be like that color and then not much that other color that i'm gonna do that you guys will see soon so we'll see how it goes and uh yeah it's goodbye to the to the good old japanese Korean whatever tree is I think it is it's a it's a cherry blossom I don't know where it's from but whatever I like them I enjoyed it a lot but it's time to, to switch it up so we'll see how it goes all right guys this is not gonna be a how-to just because I looked it up today in the morning but pretty much what it is is you gotta remove the this things first the sun visor so it's just two screws there and then this one just um, you just flip it to the side and it comes out so it's gonna be those two then this is the hard part so we'll get we'll do this right now All right, so here clearly uh, these things have been taken off before. So it was actually pretty easy to just unclip, which are, there's one clip there, and uh, there was supposed to be another one right here, but I think he broke this one. But uh, overall, the holds fine, so I'm not too worried about it. So this just pretty much just pops off, slides off down there, and that is that, pretty easy. There's also this part right here that we gotta kind of separate from the clips so we can pull this off. And as you can see, well, I guess not. Hold on, let me get the light. As you can see right there. Well, now it's too much light. All right, there you go. Um, clips, one, two, three, and four. There's four clips. After that, this whole thing is supposed to come down. And uh, this is gonna be clipped onto this bring it down slowly and then disconnect all the little cables that I gotta that I gotta do here so we'll get to do it right now one thing I forgot to mention on the, my sun visors they have like light when you open to the little mirror shit so there was a cable that I needed to unplug which was pretty easy all you have to do is pull it through and it comes out so nothing out of the world there and uh the mirror is not on this, so I'm pretty lucky right there. I think the 07 and 08 actually do have something right here connected to this, so that's gonna be more work for you guys. One thing that I didn't wanna do, but I guess it's a must, you have to pull the trimming off. And uh, I didn't wanna do it just because once you take it off, it never goes back into place like it used to, but you have to because it, the thing is right in here. But pretty much, it's off. You just gotta figure it out where it's being held from which is probably right here and then it should be off Lit. oh shit oh shit <laughs> fuck oh fuck all right so it's off and damn that thing unplugged by itself which is not good hopefully they didn't break anything you guys see that cable over there? This cable. I was supposed to unmake it myself, but fuck, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Fucking race car up in his booze. Alright, let's get this out of here. Alright, false alarm. <laughs> that cable had nothing to do with it. It was just the, the mic for the Bluetooth. So uh, I did have to unmake a cable, but I'll show you guys right now. I'm just taking the tape off of this, which is taped. To this thing all 
All right, so this harness is the one that goes connected to the headlight, to the headlight, I mean, to the dome light. So, and then this one was just taped onto this. So to get this out, I had to untape all of those. So we'll just do that and uh, pretty much that's it. And it's out. Headliner is off. And uh, all these trim pieces that I think they're, um, I don't know, I guess just to keep it in place and uh, sound deadening and all the stuff fell off. And I guess I'll just stick it on there later after I put the, the tape. But taking it off was pretty easy. Back on, it looks like it's gonna be a bitch. <laughs> this shit looks so ratchet. This is the harness. Gotta put it back in there. The, the window molding or the whatever this thing's called. So I'm gonna reverse my car back into my spot. And I'm going to take that piece, those pieces that I took from the side and this inside and we'll get to wrapping. And then when I'm done, that'll be a wrap. Ah, oh, get it, get it, get it. No, all right, whatever. All right, guys, so I'm getting some help right now, so I'm about to start doing it. And um, I started uh, spray canning the, the sun visors and the part that goes in the middle with the dumb light. Uh, but I forgot to take the camera downstairs, but I'm doing it black and uh, we're about to start wrapping it. So All right guys, so like many of you might have guessed already. I'm going to do red. So We're about to wrap this and uh, The glue that I bought is the 3m super 77 and uh, I used it on the steering wheel So it worked really good. So oh wait, I don't know if this video is gonna come out before the steering wheel, but wink wink But yeah that's what we used to glue this on. All right guys, so this is the finished product. It took us about maybe two hours, three hours to finish it. It was really hard because the edges around this thing, um, they, they got a lot of uh, wrinkles, but I think it was actually the material. It was kind of really hard, but it's really soft, so that's why I like it. So I wrapped the, the roof of the car and then I wrapped the A pillars. And uh, right now it's kind of, it's night already, so I think I'm gonna go throw them on right now, see how they look, and uh, do some shots tomorrow. What is going on, guys? As you can see, I am back inside the car. I put everything back inside, and um, it's also the next day. I finished doing it last night, and then we put it right like last night back on, just because I didn't want to forget how things went on. But pretty much that's the finished product. Um, of course, there's gonna be some imperfections because this is my first time doing it. Uh, mostly right here, you can see the little wrinkles and uh, places right here, like where I didn't put too much glue. I guess I should have put more. But um, overall, it looks really clean. Like the big parts look really nice. Just when you get to like the corners and all that stuff, that's where it was the most problem. And uh, I don't know, you can see right here, but that's just lack of glue. Pretty much so it's, just, it's coming undone but i mean for the first time i'm pretty happy and i'm also forgot to mention that i painted this black i painted the uh, uh, sun visors black just so it wouldn't look like the tan color with the red and it looks so much better to be honest black black and then the clips that go back here you can't see them but they're also black so Overall, I'm really happy. This right here came out perfect because we did them after this, so we had more experience doing it this, this way. And the shift booth, so the car's coming along. I really like how this came out, so thanks for watching, guys. And uh, I don't know how this video's gonna come out because I did it yesterday and today, so hopefully it doesn't come out too, like, chopped up and stuff. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with the results, so thanks for watching, guys. Peace.